I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. F5's Big IP software can run, of course, on the Big IP platform. It can run in any of the major clouds out there, AWS, Azure, and GCP, among others. And Big IP Virtual Edition can run on hypervisors. Now we got some folks running Big IP VE on their laptops for lab or testing purposes. But if you're running a mission critical application, you're gonna want a dedicated server for Big IP Virtual Edition. Now we went ahead and tested Big IP VE on some Dell servers to figure out what is the best, the, the optimization best for running VE on a server. And what we did it on, we tested on a Dell Power Edge R650. It's a pretty popular server, mid range server. A lot of organizations use the R650. You might even have some in inventory to run Big IP VE on. So we tested VE on the Dell PowerEdge R650. So what are some of the do's and don'ts for this type of deployment? Well, first off, you're going to want to run a pair of these are 650s. And of course the pair is for, right, redundancy, high availability, failover. We only needed one CPU to get the best performance out of these servers. It also leaves a slot open for future proofing. If there are some applications down the road that you wanna repurpose the server for and you need that additional CPU slot, you got it there. And then we also want to make sure that you only run Big IP VE on these servers. And that would be the only thing that's running. So some of the things you want to do, do. So we do recommend disabling hyper threading. Now, this is the guarantee that the virtual cores are mapped to the physical cores. When it comes to your BIOS, you wanna make that set to performance. So not the default setting, setting it to performance mode means that we're not constantly waking up the processor, um, especially when you have to handle you know, sensitive, uh, latency sensitive situations. You always want it ready for those type of situations rather than waking it up. And then you do want to enable receive side scaling. And this is so that any TCP connection can be supported by multiple cores of the server. So some of the things you do want to do, do want to do, some of the things you don't want to do. So uh, you might be tempted to run vCenter on the same server as Big IP VE. No, make sure that's running on something, something separate. So vCenter on a separate server, just the VE on those servers. We, uh, instead of relying on the VMware's uh, virtual standard switch, uh, what you really want to do is move it to the virtual distributed switch. A little bit more advanced, get more performance out of it. And then make sure, so don't, I guess, just use the uh, default default drivers, um, you want to make sure, so we'll cross that out, make sure you go latest, latest drivers, and that can be found on VMware's compatibility matrix. So just make sure that you've updated it 
<clears throat> to the latest drivers. Now, you might be wondering what the test bed looks like. Now, here's an image of the test bed. And we put the servers under a load of thousands of concurrent users, exercising 72 emulated backend servers to gather just how much throughput we could reach and how many layer seven HTTP transactions per second we could successfully conduct. Now the net result out of the box without the optimization changes, so right off the shelf with, and this is with the 10 gig big IP VE license, we were able to reach eight gig of throughput. And with the optimizations, we were able to reach just over 10. So it goes from eight to 10 GP, GBPS, 10 plus, uh, with all of these optimizations enacted. So we basically got a 25, 25% increase in performance with the optimizations described here. Now we have a lot more detail in a Dev Central article at community.f5.com. They go into many more of the specifics of the optimization settings, what you might want to avoid, and gets into the specifics of the test bed and how we went about testing this Dell PowerEdge R650 with the Big IP Virtual Edition software. And that, my friends, is how you optimize this kind of deployment. I am Peter. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Certainly subscribe if you enjoy our Lightboard lessons. Always visit us at the community, community.f5.com. That's Dev Central. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. And see you next time with a Lightboard lesson.